Howdy, 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 my beautiful Capricorn. I hope you're doing well, darling. My name is Simply Valka, and let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Capricorn, for March 2022, darling. All right. This reading is going to be separated into two different sections, Capricorn. One, the first section is going to be in regards to some relationship in your life, platonic, romantic, family x situation honey something in the business honey it's up for you to be deciding it's just going to be some connection and then the second portion of this reading is going to be covering just general predictions for you darling could be finance could be just what's in the works for your career and what have you all right so let's get right into this if you enjoy this tarot reading today capricorn be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video as well a like and subscribe if you like this video or you just enjoy my vibe darling all right so let's get into this capricorn let's see where the t is at for you darling all right so the card that first popped out for you darling is the ten of swords oh <laughs> all right capricorn so y'all have put this connection up for the chopping block i don't even know what these other two cards are yet right tens represents closures to cycles and just a lot of pain when it comes to this connection here um i always say capricorn that these ten swords didn't happen in, per in this person's back overnight right and so this has been a connection in your life that probably have been oh, obviously overly patient with it's like for me honey capricorn first time if there's even a hint at a sword honey i'm like gone right i don't entertain people that i uh, hurt nine of cups coming in as well as the six of swords coming in okay capricorn this is a person that you've given 30 different chances to you have walked away <laughs> you have walked away uh capricorn from this connection at one point in your life here um you put the you know you close this chapter off in your life at one point and then you decided to open it up again and just see it's like oh maybe they've changed or you know what have you entertaining things that you shouldn't have been entertained in the first place right you saw these red flags but the first time capricorn and the second time and then the third time and you're hoping by the 30th time capricorn that this person finally would have changed right you're very much so being like oh i could change him i could change her i could change them right uh man capricorn it's like you think that you practice unconditional love to this person or that because you see the potential in this connection and maybe just because of how much you really liked this connection here right with this nine of cups here right that's wish granted card like you think that this person is everything and then some um that you've wanted ever in your life here capricorn um you have the ace of swords with this tower energy here unfortunately capricorn i feel like for many of you guys you're going to be pushed be pushed to a breaking point when it comes to this connection here just to be honest here something's going to be coming in here that just causes things to come crumbling down from where they currently are all right you know with that 10 10 of swords honey all right there's no more room for another sword here that's why there's no 11 of swords honey for many reasons right tens is just like there's the final thing final sword that is put into the your back dialing that puts you that puts you in this place being like all right enough is enough time for a change whether that change is you just completely exiting uh, <laughs> yourself from the situation of this person or this uh you know time for a change just in terms of how the dynamic of this relationship is in your life here all right because i see you guys getting to this point capricorn eight of cups in the back of the deck here where you no longer are going to be afraid of walking away anymore you are finally putting the ultimatum towards a situation here capricorn which i celebrate you guys on you're finally taking a stand you're finally like you know you're finally showing capricorn that you can't you that you're not a doormat right and the thing about capricorns is that they get such a weirdly bad rap in a lot of ways because they're associated with the devil in the major arcana of tarot but it's like for capricorns they don't care really about who you are as a person as long as one obviously you're good like a normal human but two as long as you are able to show that you are chain that there's like commitment that there's change like the your capricorns are just all about being like all right like you're gonna you say you're gonna do this like you're basing it off of that you're assuming that they're going to be about it right so how does how is this connection with capricorn going to be going darling all right how is this connection going to be going here we have the queen of wands coming in here capricorn with the moon energy as well as the three of pentacles coming in here i feel like this energy might catch you by surprise here capricorn but the thing about it is you need to catch them by surprise first right you know this is somebody who is so used to capricorn um 
being able to take you for granted. It's like they're used to being able to just talk to you in any type of way, Capricorn. They're used to being able to just like, you're always available to them. Anytime they want to talk about their problems, anytime that they're like, oh, Capricorn, are you available? You're the first person they call because you're the, always the one that's picking up. You're you're all reliable, honey. All right. I mean that in the best of ways. But you no longer making yourself available to this connection anymore in your life, Capricorn. That's when this is an ultimatum here, Capricorn. They're going to be trying to come. To, they notice this change in you. And then they're going to start communicating to friends and be like, hey, have you noticed Capricorn's acting different? It's like, have, have you heard from Capricorn? Are you talking to Capricorn recently? Because they notice the change in you, right? They notice that you just start doing you, darling, nine of pentacles. You start doing you. By you starting to finally doing you and you being like, all right, like this needs to change, darling. Like either this connection needs to just no longer happen or something like, you know, you put your foot down, put that line in the sand, Capricorn. You cause this person to change once they truly think that they've lost you then they'll keep they'll put the effort in i feel towards this connection capricorn but they need to have this fear a little bit of fear initially towards this all right so what happens if my capricorns decide to transition on from this connection move on from this what does their social life look like after that fact here we have the five of swords coming in here capricorn with the page of swords so this connection is not gonna go down without a fight honey all right uh and then the seven of pentacles coming in here so if you try to walk away initially from this connection capricorn i don't see them going down without a fight darling all right so if you choose to cut out this connection you need to make sure that your block game is strong honey do not entertain them at all um after the fact because they're going to be trying to really get a reaction out of you capricorn that is without a doubt um here and they're going to just try to get in, into your head really uh due to this dynamic here so when you try to m move on from this capricorn be prepared to really have to like go the extra mile and blocking them on every social media because otherwise they're going to be watching you with that page of swords they're going to be stalking the social media they're going to be doing anything in their power to make sure that they are able to communicate with you here all right but it'll definitely confirm that you made the right choice in moving on from this as well i feel as if that some of you capricorns that they might try to connect to you through things that y'all have a history with right so maybe if you this is gonna be re weird but it's like if you frequent like a specific grocery store or a restaurant they're gonna try to find you through there and have you not ignore them through there judgment energy with the four of pentacles and then we got going on here capricorn i want this little card here it's calling out to me three of swords here all right so i'm gonna be honest here capricorn for the foreseeable future y'all need to really do some cord cutting i'm gonna be honest when it comes to this connection if you do choose to walk away from this because i feel like this is gonna haunt you for quite some time otherwise do some i never suggest people to do cord cutting because that's like your own business and something you need to make that decision decision for yourself here but that connection is going to do everything in its power to stay relevant in your life. So you need to do cord cutting. You need to, you know, put custody towards friends, who gets what friends or what have you. Darling, do what you need to do to completely separate yourself if you're trying to transition on because it ain't going to disappear easily, darling. All right. All right, my darling Capricorn, let's get into your general predictions here. General tarot messages. Let's see what's good, what's popping this week of March 2022, honey. All right. I hope you all have been having a good year year so far can y'all believe we're already in the third month of this year we have seven of cups you're going to be having a few different options going on going on in your life capricorn all right i'm being shown um two different papers that you're comparing to nine of pentacles coming in as well y'all could be getting two different types of job offers pentacle energy also refers to just general stability outside of finances uh capricorn some of y'all might be weighing having the opportunity of putting your roots in somewhere um or whatever brings forth stability could even be moving just job um moving in terms of living situations here you're going to be presented with a few options this week spirit when i see the nine of pentacles i always see this as your spirit guides your spiritual team guiding you due to the fact that this owl there's always usually some type of avery some type of animal associated with the nine of pentacles so it lets me know personally where it's like this is a person that is going to be chosen shown to the right cup shown to the right choice of where you need to commit to where you need to 
invest your energy into uh, Capricorn. All right. So pay attention to any type of spiritual signs, any types of repeating numbers. Um, you're going to be shown uh, the way you're going to be shown a d bunch of different options and your spirit guides are going to let you know which option to actually pick at. Right. All these options as a seven of cups. And then you go, which one to actually invest into as that four of pentacles, because four of pentacles is that investment energy. All right. And king of pentacles as well in the back of the deck. A lot of you guys are really considering Capricorn and where you are just, just stability and like, again, I won't be surprised if y'all are like comparing like apartments or houses or something like that, or comparing contracts where you commit yourself to, I don't know, something about contracts and where you like sign your name off to, right? Eight of cups situation here. Y'all are definitely transitioning on from something here something long term it's, yeah i'm gonna be saying right now capricorn y'all's path right now seems to be directly uh, associated with adding change into your life here at capricorn some aspect in your life you are changing from you are elevating from all right so just because you're leaving your current environment well it's very bittersweet right that's probably the energy that you're feeling is very bittersweet but just know that you are growing you just need to go into a new fishbowl right yeah girl you're getting all the cards of movement capricorn eight of wands that's the card of moving again a lot of changes is just happening in y'all's lives here four of cups another card talking about divinely guided all right capricorn funnily enough i don't need to pull any more cards with this because you're just getting the same messages here be expecting changes in your life here all right y'all are going to be the least in your comfort zone out of all the zodiac signs admittedly here at capricorn all right so be prepared for that but change is the best thing that you could be asking for at this time you guys are moving some pretty in the, in, in their roots all right um something that y'all either been at a job for a lot extended amount of time or has been in the same living spot an extended amount of time same state state a city something same house something that you've been a part of for a long time is changing but this change is good all right you might not think it's initially just because you're just like oh like this is just out of your comfort zone spirit is with you every step of the way spirit is definitely with you every step of the way to show you which choices which choice is going to be the best choice for you spirit is always showcasing that to you you just have to be paying attention to it all right and be ready for it all right be ready to um walk away from the situation here it served its purpose now you need to go you know continue upgrading yourself right which is exactly what it is that you're doing capricorn so i love you so much darling this is a reading that i have for you this week capricorn thank you so much for allowing me to do this tarot reading for you be sure if you want to book a private personal reading with me my website's linked down below simply Velker. Dot com next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both just being simply velka i hope i see you on tiktok sometime capricorn because i live stream every single day there darling and until next time darling i hope i can connect with you sometime in the near future bye darling capricorn